is of Inspirational Stories TV show. Live streaming now to millions of devices around the world on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, YouTube Live, Facebook Live Streaming. Our shows are available video on demand on these channels. And we broadcast daily Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time on these channels. On Mondays, Expanding Your Business. Tuesdays, Natural Health and Wellness. On Wednesdays, we cover Mentoring Our Youth. And on Thursdays, our new show, Ideas Worth Knowing. And on Fridays, Women in Leadership. To be able to watch our television show on your favorite device, please go to e360tv.com and download the app for your favorite device. Brought to you by our producers and hosts, Jim Grant and Donna Guinwa. Along with our host, Bieta Severin Reed and Emerson Brantley. Supported by our admin team of Michaela Vidal and Gaia Guinwa Balcone Leda. And welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. The Messages of Inspirational Stroy Stories is brought to you by the good guys at the 6 webinarcom It's also brought to you by Jeremy Stone and me, myself, and I, the big three. <laughs> we hope you guys are doing wonderful today. On today's show, we're going to be talking about some radicals out there. Now, I'm not talking about my former military buddies or anything like that. And Jeremy was in the military, too. You guys can take a break, okay? But we're going to talk about some things that affects our health. And you know, Jeremy, one of the things that I never thought much about was the effect radicals had on my body. And really, I guess it's safe to say, and I want you to share your opinion on this, uh, I don't think many people think about it until they look in the mirror one day and they see that one gray hair and they want to pluck it out. If I did that, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> or they see a wrinkle or something like that, that they're starting to age. Because that's when we start to see the outward effect of aging and radicals on, in, on our, that's going on on the inside, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think that the, the fact that this is our topic today is completely radical, dude. I just had to say that. <laughs> yeah, we're, well, we're a couple of radical guys here. We're going to have some fun. But, you know, realistically, I never really thought much about radicals. I mean, we heard about it. In fact, the first time I think it was mentioned, if memory serves me right, it was back in 1956. It was first outlined the free radical theory, uh, they called it, of aging, because radicals basically do one thing. They break down your body at the molecular, the cellular level. That's it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, uh, it's I, I think that as, as the years have gone by since then, you know, science has become a lot more uh, adept at recognizing uh, free radicals, we, we've actually created, uh, you know, technology to be able to measure the amount of free radicals inside uh, the human body. And we began to really understand more mm -hmm. of just just the, the radical damage that it, it does to our bodies, you know, uh, you know, aging yeah. and, and other diseases as well. Mm -hmm. You're exactly right. And, you know, after I, you know, folks, I was spoiled and I was lazy. Guilty as charged. I'm not going to lie about it. But when you go to the, you know, you go in for your checkups decade after decade after decade, and they tell you, hey, how great you're doing, don't change a thing, yada, da, 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 da. It spoils you. And you don't really see a need unless there's something that, you know, really either reaches out and grabs you, gets your attention, or you get the carpet yanked out from under your feet 
In my case, it was the lateral, uh, the latter. Uh, I didn't realize that I had a serious heart condition. I had the, uh, the silent killer, the widow, widow maker, until after I had my heart attack. And it wasn't revealed until I went in for stents and the stents wouldn't work. That's how they found out about it. And I had to have open heart surgery and four bypasses and all that stuff. But in my recovery and studying with many cardiologists, they talked about the importance of good vitamins, good minerals to fight these radicals in the body. And Jeremy, I don't know, uh, uh, but to be honest with you, I didn't realize there was a war going on in there. <laughs> but there is kind of in there. Yeah, ab- absolutely. You know, we a lot of people don't think about the mon- molecular levels of their bodies, right? We, we, we look at the mm-hmm. outer appearance, but we don't realize that everything that you see is made out of billions upon the billions of molecules, atoms, right? And, mm-hmm. and so uh, some, of, some of the basic stuff that we learned in high school, uh, chemistry class uh, and physics, you know, simply that these molecules have electrons around them and mm-hmm. these electrons have positive charges and negative charges and they attract each other they do, or they repulse each other, right? Mm-hmm. And so normally healthy healthy molecules and atoms, they have two electrons on the outside. Well, these mm-hmm. free radicals, they got to be a little bit different, right? Yeah, they're and, oddballs. And, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're oddballs. So, so they have one, one of these electrons instead of two. And mm-hmm. so because of that, because a molecule really needs or craves or desires or has to have, um, you know, two of those electrons on the outside of it, it mm-hmm. goes and tries to steal them from good cells, from yes. good molecules in your body. And That's so it steals them. And in doing so, it damages the good cells in your body. And so, yes, there's this constant battle going on inside mm-hmm. at the molecular level. Yeah, you're exactly right. I'm, I like the way you put that because it's easy to understand that if you're a good molecule and some radical comes in and steals from you, and the only alternative you've got is to go steal one from someone else, and it's just a chain reaction. And not only does this start contributing to aging, but this starts contributing to some very serious health problems like heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's. Those are three things, and that's just three of the many lists that we hate to hear, but no one likes to hear the word, you've got cancer. Yeah, ab- absolutely, because, ah. you know, what, what, what a lot of people don't realize is that these, these uh, free radicals, what they do is that they, they can actually damage your cells down to the, the genetic mm-hmm. level, to the DNA. So mm. what, it, what, it, what it actually does is it actually um, eats through the, the outer shell of the molecule uh, that they stole that that other uh, electron from or proton there, you know, coming mm-hmm. through, and and it damages your DNA. And your DNA has a natural system in it to mm-hmm. to uh, release tumor inhibitors, right? And so yes. your DNA actually has these 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 things that they release that inhibit the growth of tumors. And so mm-hmm. when when these free radicals come in and they get through that outer shell and they actually damage the DNA it damages the ability of the DNA to release the, the tumor inhibitors. And therefore it allows these hurt cells that accumulate in the body to form into a tumor cell. And then one tumor yeah. cell that can multiply into another tumor cell. And pretty mm-hmm. soon we have cancer in the body. You know, that's exactly right. Because I don't know if, uh, if medical science has figured it out yet, but they figure that the, uh, the first tumor, the host tumor, and there's a string of other tumors that will pop up from that cancer. But when they get cancer in remission, for some reason, it doesn't start with the host. It starts with the last one, then the next last. It starts the reverse chain reaction coming back to the host before it dies out. And I don't know if they've ever figured out why it follows that sequence, but it does. Yeah, it, I'm, it, I'm, it I'm, really not, I'm not sure if they figured out exactly yet why uh, it mm-hmm. goes backwards like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and, but, but yeah, I think, I think the important thing is remember there this free radicals, you know, it's, it's so much more than wrinkles and oh, age spots. Yeah. you know, we, we talk about age spots or liver spots in our skin. Mm-hmm. Well, that's actually a sign of damage from free radicals, right? Free radicals have damaged the normal skin mm-hmm. cells. Uh, therefore uh, you end up with these, these different signs of aging, such as wrinkles and, uh, yeah. you know, sunspots. Uh, why mm-hmm. does one person who's maybe 60 and another person that's maybe 60. Why does one 
have a slew of wrinkles that they probably started getting at 40. And the other one might have beautiful, vibrant skin that has mm -hmm. few or no wrinkles. To yeah. It, right. It's, it's, yeah. it's the free radical damage uh, inside the cellular level. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say it has a lot to do with genes, but, the, you know, genes will play a part of that. But the real reason is that the free radicals are not able to run radically out of control in your body. That's the proximate cause of the problem right there. Yeah. And, it, and in the studies, it just really amazes me how, you know, the, the, the free radical, it, it has an odd number. It's out of balance. Mm -hmm. So it's vibrating around trying to find another electron to, to get in balance. And then that just carries right on, as we said earlier. It starts a chain reaction. And we're, we know that we're energy. We're all vibrant on the inside. So it's kind of like listening to stereo, and then you start getting static inside your body. And me being a radio guy, that's the way I look at it, because I can understand that, because I was a Signal Corps instructor for many years for the United States Army. In fact, that was what they call a, <clears throat> a certified instructor. <laughs> that was a big C and a big I, so anyway. It, no, but I really enjoyed it. But when you think about... Ready, listening to stereo you want your music or any program that you're listening to in stereo you want it to be in harmony you don't want any static going on because if the video is so so and but the the audio is great it's in stereo there's no static you will listen to it you will watch it but if the video is great and it's like <laughs> You hear all that joint going on, you're out of here. You know, just kind of like the first thing you do when I'm when I'm looking for a place and I, and I don't know where it is, and I'm getting close. The first thing I do is turn the radio down. <laughs> <laughs> I figure that helps my eyes zero in because I'm looking for something. And uh, I love it when I call up people. Where about you located? Well, we're located 1421 blah. No, 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 no. I can't see three inch signs above your door across the parking lot when I'm in a four on the other side of a four lane highway. <laughs> give me, give me some, you know, <clears throat> give me a sign, you know, and uh, you know it just uh, it just amazes me how when when we're when we got a lot of static going on in our lives, we understand it and we feel it when we have stress. Yeah. Jeremy, stress is a huge, huge thing that really we all deal with. Oh, absolutely. To some degree. It's perfectly normal. It's perfectly natural. It's perfectly human. But it's also perfectly and definitely detrimental to our health. Yeah. It really is. Ab absolutely. And a lot of people don't realize just how critical uh, stress is. Uh, mm -hmm. in whether you're going to be living a live life of disease mm -hmm. or a life of wellness, right? Um, and in fact, uh, you know, there's, there's the, the emotional and psychological and mental stress that we all are very mm -hmm. aware of. But talking about free radicals, you know, the, the thing that they create inside your body at the cellular level is what's called oxidative stress. Right. Mm. And so it's actually that what's what's hurting your body on the molecular, the cellular level is the stress is being created from the damage of these uh, free radicals in there. And, you know, you probably you're thinking oxidative. That sounds a little bit similar to a word that I learned in high school chemistry class. Right. I mean, probably even in junior high uh, mm -hmm. geology class. But that's oxidation. And, and what is oxidation, Jim? Oh, well, oxidation to me is rust. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And yeah. that's perfect. So we think about the piece of iron being exposed to oxygen, right? And it, it, it causes it to rust. We, we would mm -hmm. all agree that rust is not a good thing for that piece of metal, right? Absolutely. It weakens it. It, tear, it breaks down yeah. the molecular structure of it. And, uh, you know, maybe let me just put this in here because it just came to my mind. When two metals are joined together and they're welded, they're welded together with intense heat, uh -huh. and they become an alloy, a brand new metal with their own t tensile strength and all that. 
and but they become stronger. So when we go through trials and tribulations in life, and we go through the fires of life, we can become stronger. We do become stronger. And when you're dealing with stress, one of the things that I love about Jeremy is that Jeremy is real big on give your body some weapons to fight stress, to fight these, you know, radicals going on. And, uh, you know, Jeremy, it's, you, you do that. You live that religiously, don't you? You yeah, practice I, what I, you preach. Ab absolutely. You know, and there's, and there's some key areas that you can really do that in. Uh, one, you know, is, is in relieving that stress from your body. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, we could we could do what's called pro conscious meditation, whatever that looks mm -hmm. like to that could be prayer yeah. uh, if that's your faith. But, but really, you know, beginning to to breathe right, to get into a, a place mm -hmm. where you're, you're just focusing on your body and on the well-being of your body. Right. It's taking mm -hmm. that that opportunity. You, you know, the old the old commercials, Jim. Uh, we're probably dating ourselves here if we do this with the old Calgon commercials, where it's, you know, Calgon, take me away, right? Oh, you got the, the yeah. mother all stressed out and everything, and all she wants to do is get into that hot tub, <laughs> away from the kids and away from the husband, and <laughs> get in, and, and it was Calgon, yeah. take me away, right? Yeah. Did, remember that little commercial? <laughs> well, there's something to that, right? Yeah. For, for, for our overall health. We, we've got to learn to somehow step away from it all, take a deep breath yeah. and really just let it out, right? Treat um, yourself. Exactly. That is oh. so critical for relieving stress. Um, oh, and yeah. Then, and then a lot of it, uh, you know, a lot of it uh, beyond that is also your diet, right? Um, mm. Making sure that you're getting a good quality diet. And, you know, mm. we, we, can, we can eat foods that are high in antioxidants to help us uh, to live healthier, but also to reduce those free radicals that are going to cause all those health issues uh, in our life. Mm -hmm. But we know that because because of over farming and the depletion of minerals and nutrients oh. from the soil and everything, that even if we eat a completely mm. plant based diet, uh, that we're not getting all the nutrients in the, you know that our body needs. In fact, a lot of you know zinc is a very important mineral for uh, our body. Zinc is oftentimes found in the meats that we eat. However, you know because of over farming and zinc not getting into the plants, the minerals not moving in, it's got not getting mm -hmm. into our animal products as well. So we're living at a at a depleted level of zinc uh, in there. So taking the right nutritional supplements uh, on top of the diet, on top of finding the place to get away to find ways to manage. Or even better than manage stress is to eliminate the stress if we can. Oh, we can't yeah. get rid of it all, but if there's things in our mm -hmm. life that we can do to eliminate stress, we mm -hmm. should eliminate that. Because guess what? Yeah. You get tired of managing stress. Managing oh, stress yeah. still means you got all kinds of stress. You're just mm -hmm. managing it, right? Mm -hmm. If if you can, it's better to eliminate stress. Mm -hmm. You know, in the in the studio here, we we have the ability to play background music. I don't know if Jeremy can hear that or not. Uh huh. I, I do. I hear it. it. Sounds like Top Gun. Yeah, it's some kind of rock music. They got all yeah. kind of stuff here. But anyway, I was just gonna. I'm gonna let it run a little bit because they were. I was reading somewhere where you know having a little bit of background music is good for you too. Let me know if that's too loud or whatever. I can adjust the volume on it. But you know, Jeremy, the thing, and I, I'm, I'm gonna run and get something. Okay. Because I want to share the wonderful properties in this here because what it's done for a place on I used to have a place here on the side of my face here and every single oh three four days twice a week or something like that I'd have this dry patch of skin there like a it wasn't a scab it's just like dead skin I'd have to you know take my fingernail and rake it off and I started using this product and guess what it's gone. It, it's gone. It's gone. And for you folks out there that's worried about wrinkles or your skin not getting a proper a moisture, I'm just going to, you know, pop backstage. Jeremy, you take it and run. And I'm going to uh, get the uh, product, and I'll be right back. All right. All right. Well, while, he, while he's getting that, folks, uh, we're, we're certainly honored that you're watching, that you're spending time with us. We hope that you're finding value. Uh, in this discussion today about free radicals, uh, you know, really, uh, you 
what we want you to get away from this is that you have the power in your hands. You have the ability, you have uh, the um, strength to be able to eliminate a lot of these issues, to be able to uh, actually uh, reverse some of the damage that's done to your bodies. And, and we talk about a lot of the ways to do that, but you know, really the power is in your hands. And, and we, we want you to know that, that, uh, you know, by following some of these, these steps that we're, we're pointing out to you that you can actually slow down or reduce things like cancer. You can slow down or, or give your body a fighting chance at, uh, minimizing the risk of cognitive decline of diabetes, of heart disease. Um, we, we want you to know that you have the ability to make a difference in your health. You should, you should not, you should not just leave your health or the state of your wellness in the hands of uh, doctors or anybody else, but, but you should take that power into your hands. And if you get anything out of this today, we want you to be empowered uh, to take control of your health, to take control of your wellness. And, and really that's what we're about on Tuesdays is helping people to achieve that total wellness in their lives. Uh, you know, whether it's, it's relieving stress or ways to do that, ways to, uh, you know, re reduce the damage to your body by diabetes or anything mm -hmm. like that. So we, we certainly want you to feel empowered and uh, we're super, super honored that you're here with us. And he's back. I'm back. Yeah. You know, folks, you know, Jeremy's going to share some great information and we're going to share some great information with you about how to combat these radicals on the inside. But I like Jeremy's approach. Jeremy likes to hit them in the head and kick them in the butt, you know? <laughs> hey, that's, that's and, absolutely true. And what he mean, what I mean by that is that attack them on the outside, but also attack them, you know, on the inside as well. That being said, I was talked into trying this product here. Love it. This is the uh, 20 ounce size and, and I got a little tube of it. And I've started using a little bit on, on my place here on my face just as a try me. Because I heard these great things and I realized the TV camera does not do uh, me or this justice because I'm a lot better looking in person than I am on TV. <laughs> if you believe that, I've got a bridge for sale up in San Francisco. I happen to be running a big sale on it called the Golden Gate. Yeah. No, but my point being, after using it, I had to get the bigger container. Okay, 20 ounces of it. Because it's like that old Brill Cream commercial, a little dab of do ya, you know? And just putting it around my forehead and all, and I mean, my skin doesn't feel dry. Now, I'm not really that concerned about my, my face because there's not too much I can do with it anyway. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that your skin is a great reflection of what's going on inside. Jeremy mentioned earlier about age spots, wrinkles. Those are exterior signs that, you know, your body is at war on the inside. And when these free radicals are running around, you know, like that, like Jeremy was saying, hey, we don't get the vitamins and minerals from our plants our crops that we used to because the earth to my knowledge the earth is the only thing that cannot replenish what it's lost it really can't i'm sure there's others but the earth is priority once the vitamins and minerals are taken out of the earth they don't pop back up again yeah and that's very true. yeah and see you know, when people think about, well, I only eat organic and I, you know, they can feel good about that. But the bottom line of it is the organic farmer has got two major problems to deal with. How does the organic farmer, and I'm not knocking organic farmers, don't get me wrong. I'm just, I'm just making a statement. How do they replenish the vitamins and the minerals in the, in the soil where they plant the plants, number one. Number two, unless they are in a greenhouse, how do they combat 
all of the toxic chemicals and free radicals in the acid range which falls from the sky into the, onto the plants, into the earth, up the roots, and we eat the plants and it's in our systems. We have to combat those free radicals. We don't have a choice. Well, we do have a choice. You either fight them or you surrender to them. Yeah, and the That's fact it. is, the fact is, Jim, it's, and, and I want to make sure that that we're we're upfront and clear about this is that mm -hmm. that you you cannot eliminate free radicals completely mm -hmm. in your body. It's impossible. Not at all. In fact, in fact, your body naturally creates free radicals um, through metabolism, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's 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 eliminating things that your body shouldn't have, and in that it creates free radicals, mm -hmm. but it's it's in an amount that's small enough that generally your body can handle it. Mm -hmm. but when we introduce other methods of free radicals other types of these free radicals coming in then we pile it upon the naturally produced free radicals in your body and then your body doesn't have enough of what gets rid of free radicals which is the antioxidants right mm -hmm. and so therefore they accumulate and it, it, it overwhelms your body so mm -hmm. you know we we're being attacked our bodies are being attacked uh, by free radicals uh, from the inside and the outside. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's all coming. And, and, and you talk about taking care of your skin. And what a lot of people don't realize is that your skin is the largest immunological organ mm -hmm. in the body. So oh, yeah. your skin has its own place in the immune system. It's actually more of an immune system than the inside of your body, right? Mm -hmm. It has its own microbiome. Uh, mm -hmm. And all of this stuff is working together to help to protect your body. And if mm -hmm. we don't take care of that skin, mm -hmm. then we're actually not just damaging our skin and getting wrinkles and sunspots, but yeah. we're actually hurting our immune system, mm -hmm. which is opening us up to other diseases. You're exactly right. As you were talking about the skin, the one thing came to my mind one of the biggest concerns in a burn center when a person has uh, experienced uh, suffered third degree burns one of the things that they're combating is the loss of liquids because jeremy you got some medical background yep. um you know we don't really think of our skin as holding us together but it really does because uh, anytime that you lose, uh, you know, fluid in your bodies. I mean, that's a tough thing. And that's one of the concerns in burn centers. I didn't realize that until one day I read about it. And this is, you know, the reason why this individual could not survive, he had third degree burns over most of his body. And he was losing too much uh, liquid, you know, yeah, fluids. Yeah, absolutely. You lose, you lose liquids in, in, in burns. Uh, and, you know, just, just think about it. You know, you you also have violated the barrier to the inside of your body, right? Mm -hmm. the, the skin is the barrier that keeps all of these infectious agents, keeps all of these these things out from, from the inside, right? As much as mm -hmm. possible. Now we ingest some through our digestive system. Mm -hmm. We inhale some <clears throat> through our respiratory system, right? Mm -hmm. But for the most part, our skin holds us together. It provides microbiome to, to uh, stimulate our, our immune system to, to protect us from infections, but it acts as a barrier to keep bacteria and stuff like that from getting directly into our bloodstream and traveling to the rest of the, the body and, mm -hmm. and making us super sick or killing us. Right. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that happens with burns is you end up, it, your skin is, very much responsible for regulating your body temperature. Yes. And so, so you actually lose the ability to regulate your body temperature mm -hmm. and that becomes very, very hazardous to the person mm -hmm. has significant burns. Yeah. Because I know that, uh, let's be honest, men and women both are concerned about their looks. They really are. Oh, yeah. That's why they sell mirrors. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> really. We want to look at ourselves before we go out. And uh, we do. I mean, how many times do you walk by a mirror and not look at it? Look at yourself in there. You know? Yeah. And uh, whenever you have, uh, you, I've seen people in my life that uh, they look very pale and they look very wrinkled and they look, you know, very dried looking. And uh, 
you know, with, with proper nutrition, with proper vitamins and minerals and supplements that you need to combat free radicals, uh, you know, not only rage, rage war with that, fight, fight the war on the inside, but fight it on the outside. Give your skin a chance too. And I just can't say enough about this one product here because, uh, <clears throat> uh, Jeremy, your email is there, you know, and people oh, yep. can email you there and find out about Renew. And uh, <clears throat> if you send him a couple hundred bucks, he'll send you a sample for free. Yeah. <laughs> no, but really, <laughs> I mean, sincerely, this stuff, and what I love about it, a lot of things say they're clinically proven. Mm -hmm. And ever since I went through my heart surgery and all that, I want to see studies because I want to know if I'm spending money for something, whether it be vitamins, supplements, I don't care if it's car insurance. I want to make sure I'm getting the most bang for my buck. Yeah, I'm, absolutely. And I think, you know, something that's important to remember that in, in marketing, right, uh, you oftentimes hear the, the number one recommended by you know, pediatricians are number one recommended by dermatologists, <laughs> yeah. they're number one recommended by veterinarians, right? Mm -hmm. um, all that means, all that means is that they, you know, somehow compensated vets or pediatricians or dermatologists, you know, yep. this is what they recommend. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that they're better, <laughs> right? Um, and so, and so, you know, I love the fact <clears throat> that, for instance, that that Renew is, is mm -hmm. clinically proven by yes. independent studies, more than one. Right. Yeah. To be mm -hmm. more effective than yeah. the number one dermatologist recommended lotion. Right. Amen. It, it, it's Amen. clinically proven. And that's yeah. what I like. So I'm with you, too. I, yeah. I, I, I love to go. You know, number one recommended doesn't mean mm -mm. anything, really. Right? And, you know, and, you know, too, in, in the business that I'm in, I'm in the speaking business. I'm a client of Speaking Empire was for many years. That's where me and Emerson Brantley met was at Speaking Empire. And I know all of the big name speakers, speakers, that, I mean, I don't say I know them personally. And they, if you called them up and says, yeah, Jim Grant was talking about this, they'd probably say, Jim who? But I know who these people are because of the arena that I've been in. They get paid fifteen, twenty thousand $20,000 like Les Brown just for a 40 minute or hour and a half talk, okay? I'm not in that level, but I know a lot of the other guys that are trying up and coming and all that, and they talk about, yeah, I co-authored a book with this real famous author. All they did was pay that author <laughs> a good chunk of change, and he's got, we're co-authoring this book, of course, their team the author's team will definitely research it and make sure it's something that the author wants to have their name associated with. Right. But the person who is writing the book, who's putting the meat and potatoes on the, in the mill, they will pay that just to get the, the name of that famous person. So they said, we co author a book together. Yeah. And that's exactly what Jeremy was talking about when it's talking about, yeah, number one recommended by this person, that person, how much do we have to pay for that? Was that again? <laughs> But see, in this particular product here, this Renew Intensive Skin Therapy that you see there, let me hold it a little closer to the camera. There you go. Uh, okay. Clinically proven moisturizing lotion. This clinically proven, sure it cost them money, but the money they paid was to independent laboratories to perform the test and give them the truthful results because that's the only way you know if you got anything worth worth having if yeah, it has absolutely. any because yeah, no absolutely. obviously no no laboratory is going to perform that do perform those tasks for free but there's a big difference in paying for an honest independent study does my product work clinically proven yes okay that's a big difference between paying someone to say hey so just saying so say hey it's a Proved by the, you know, these, these people here, whatever. That's a big time difference. There's no proof in the puddings, what I'm saying. And we found the same thing with vitamins and supplements because they have to, you know, it, the cardiologist warned me about, I've got to fight the radicals in my body if I want to heal my heart. 
It's impossible to heal your heart from coronary heart disease if you don't stop the, the wars going on inside. It can't be done. It's kind of like yep. trying to put out a, a fire without any, you got the hose, but you don't have any water. Yeah. And, and you know, it's, you know, the, the key to, to fighting that war inside is to send the right soldiers. <clears throat> yeah. In, in, into battle, right? Mm -hmm. You, you got to send the right so soldiers and, and that's, that's your antioxidants. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, that's where um, you, you send those in so that they can, they can attach to those free radicals. Right. Because here's the funny thing. Right. Antioxidants are good molecules. They're good atoms, mm -hmm. but they only have one electron on the outside of them as well. And that's why they go out. They seek after those free radicals and they latch on to them. Right. Mm -hmm. And then they help to get them out of the body. Right. They they they, they transform it and, and help them out of their body. So, mm -hmm. you know, eating eating good quality diets that are high in antioxidants and a variety of different antioxidants. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, yeah. Using skin products. Uh, that are fortified with antioxidants, right? Like like what we have available, mm -hmm. um, and then and then you know making sure that we're taking those quality supplements as well that are rich in antioxidants. So again, it's about sending these armies in to battle the enemy that's inside our body and that's on our skin, right? Mm, um, absolutely. And then and then again, remember that um, strategy beats tactics every day. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. So, 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 so you got, you got to think of the strategy. Then the strategy is, is to do the things that are going to reduce the ability of those free radicals that continue to come in. Right. And mm -hmm. that's where we look at reducing toxins in our home. That's where we look at reducing stress through things like pro conscious meditation, prayer, getting away, you're doing that. Right. That's where we look to create things in our lives that are going to mm -hmm. eliminate those. Like maybe, maybe the biggest stress in your life right now is financial stress. Right. Well, oh, yeah. if I can do something to eliminate that financial stress, mm. then I'm going to do better for my body. Oh, then, yeah. Then, you know, doing the diet and the nutrition all supplements as well. All of these are strategies, right, mm -hmm. to, to be able. The strategy is to live a, a, a well life, to live a healthier life mm -hmm. and, and being conscious of that. And as I was saying, while you you had stepped away to get the Renew Lotion, you know, this is really the reason why I get excited about being here is about empowering our audience to take control back, to take control Amen. of their health, to take control of their wellness, mm -hmm. to take control. It's not about me or Jim telling you what to do. It's mm -hmm. about giving you the tools and empowering you mm -hmm. to yeah. be able to do that. Yeah, because both of us, we've had our health issues. You know about mine and Jeremy. Um Share with them about your, your the diabetes, what you went through, how you know the way you suffered, and over a period of just a few months, you turned your world all around. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. This is a tremendous story. Yeah, absolutely. So you know, here's the thing. Kind of put it in perspective. You know, nine and a half million people a year die from diabetes. Mm. So before I tell you my story, I just want to say diabetes sucks. Yeah. Amen. It, it kills it kills people right yes um it's it's the number one cause of blindness mm -hmm. the number one cause of amputation yes and the number one cause of kidney failure yes yes it is it, it's it's all around bad stuff so i i i was first diagnosed with diabetes in 2012 um so some some time ago and uh, you know, right away, they start throwing you on medications, right? One medication, and then if that doesn't work, another medication. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I went to diet class, a dietitian, and they told you all the things you should be eating, and they're telling you things you shouldn't be eating. And it, it's, it's really frustrating and depressing when you get that diagnosis. Oh, yeah. Not only the things that's happening inside your body, but just mentally and emotionally, it's a depressing thing. So it adds oh, extra yeah. stress uh, on your life. So I battle with that. But, you know, when all was said is done, I, I had struggled. I was at times, you know, living at sugar levels where you're, you're supposed to be going to the ER, right? And just, I don't go. It, it's, it's that's just my normal where I was living at. Um, mm -hmm. Six medications, multiple injections a day, highest levels of insulin, developing neuropathy, uh, you know, issues with my liver, uh, mm -hmm. fatty liver, all that stuff. So just, just a hot mess, hot mess. Yeah. So when when I really when I really uh, received the education on 
on education, not from my doctor, you know, not from my mm-hmm. medical doctor, but when I receive oh, yeah. education on, on, you know, just that I can reverse this because, you know, I was told, for instance, with neuropathy, which is excruciating pain, that I would suffer with it for the rest of my life. You know, that I could, I could, I would always be on mm. these pain medications and I'd be taking higher doses because my body would, you know, get resistant Build up to resistance. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's <clears throat> overall depressing on top of all the body issues. Mm-hmm. But when I, when I was empowered, like what we're trying to do with our audience here, when I was empowered with making the, you know, some choices, uh, getting on quality <clears throat> nutritional supplements. Um, and when I started taking these supplements, Jim, it, it was just amazing. Cause I mean, within the first few days, I started having more energy. Um, mm. and you know, I have a continuous glucose monitor, you know, inserted in my body and I was able to start seeing my blood sugar being lower and lower and lower. Um, mm-hmm. and within just a few weeks, I, I had to, to, you know, begin to take myself right off all the medications. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and, you know, I, I went, I went after a month and a half of doing this, uh, seeing my medical doctor and, and, you know, my, my A1C had gone down to just at the bottom line. Uh, it's where I was not diabetic anymore. Uh, and, uh, he was all excited and I'm, mm-hmm. it was like a 6.3 and I was like, why are you, you know, no, I'm, I'm bummed. And he's like, why? I said, cause I wanted to be under a six. And he goes, Oh no. He goes, you know, you're really, this is really good for you. And, and you should be happy with that. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, well, just, just a week and a half ago, two weeks. So I went and had my, my A1C done again, which is a measure of your average over 90 days, uh, of your blood sugar, they take a blood test and they're able to measure your hemoglobin and see, they can tell you what, it, what it's been. And, yeah. uh, I was a 5.6, which oh. is non totally non-diabetic, totally normal. Um, <laughs> I have an appointment next week with them now to go over these blood results. And I'm looking forward to going, I told you I was going to get under six. You know, there you go. And, uh, you know, get her done. So, um, mm-hmm. yeah, just simply simply following, you know, a protocol of, of, of you know, yeah. good quality nutritional supplements. I, I yeah. found myself not eating junk food or anything because my body oh, was getting yeah. the nutrition. Um, I'm not I'm not hungry as much. I wasn't dieting, per se, but I lost 24 pounds in three months, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. and, uh, and, and I wasn't, you know, adding extra exercise or going to the gym four hours a day or anything like that. Just just getting quality quality supplements, you know, into my body Mm. and hydrating, uh, made all the difference for me. Yeah, it really is. And, you know, when I was uh, doing my studies on, uh, to get off of the, uh, traditional statins for heart patients, Mm -hmm. I had no choice. I was like Jeremy. Uh, I didn't feel good. I was waking up every hour to an hour and a half every single night consistently okay. i never got two or three four hours sleep in one night not at one time i may have gotten four or five hours sleep over an eight or nine hour period or something like it which i never stayed in bed that long but i did you know when you don't when your sleep gets interrupted like that it's impossible to feel good plus the next day i felt and every day I felt kind of stressed on the inside. So I felt like I've got to do something here. And so I started researching cardiologists. Fortunately for me, my cardiologist was on board with this. He, he, was, uh, he had heard some things, but he could not recommend anything yeah. because he was still in the study stage. I was in the study stage too, but I was, this is one thing very, 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 very important, just like we talked earlier about um, you know, products that are endorsed by someone, they might have been paid for, but, you know, having something that's clinically proven to work is a different breed of cat. And that's where you want to go. Because the cardiologist warned us that not all vitamins and supplements are created equal. Yeah, that's And that's that is so true. true. Yeah, and one of them put it like this. He says, when it comes to business, folks, it's always profit over people. Don't kid yourself. And that is so true because uh, that's why it, it, it worries me when I see people wanting to buy, I'll say, the little blue pill from somebody else because it's cheaper. They think they're getting apples to apples, and they are not. Now, I never have taken a little blue pill. I don't, I don't uh, believe in that and don't need it. And, uh, but my point being... I wouldn't take something like that that could harm my health. You, you don't buy stuff and put it in your body from unless it's clinically proven, period. That should be your standard. 
After all, if, if something goes wrong in your body, you can't pass that on to somebody else, can you, can you Jeremy? Yeah. Right, right. You, know. you can't yeah, get a I refund think, on that. Go ahead. I think, I think the key on that, Jim, is, 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 trying to, is, is to educate yourself. Right? Yes. Uh, and, that's, and that is the thing. We, we as a society have stopped educating ourselves mm. when it comes to the area of wellness. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, of, of our, our bodies, right? Mm, we've, yeah. we've, we've given the power of our health over to our medical doctors. Right? Yep. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, how much thought do we on average as a people put into our health, right? Mm -hmm. Well, once, Very once well. it's, it's really bad and you're laying up in the hospital dying, then all of a sudden you start to think about it. Right. <laughs> but by, by then it's, it's, it's a little late. Um, mm -hmm. we don't, we don't begin thinking about it until something's wrong. Yeah. But if we can change that and think about it before something's wrong mm -hmm. yeah. and help Amen. to prevent those issues, Amen. Uh, then we're going to live a happier, healthier life. Mm. Um, we're going to enjoy our years. And I, I love what you said earlier, because to me, this kind of like sets the foundation. Because one of the major reasons especially young people get divorced is not that they fall out of love is that they run out of money before the end of the month. Yeah. That creates a lot of problems, a lot of stress. And I hate that for young people, but let me just ask the TV audience out there a question. How would you feel if you could just say, Hey, I can solve my money problems. And once I do that, I will have the money because a lot of people don't have the money to buy or to get products they need because they just, they, they skip and do without. Mothers are notoriously doing this for their children. Mothers will buy something that their kids need and they'll just say, they'll just go without. They'll just put it in the back of their mind like they don't need it. But they're worthy of it. And to be healthy and, and to enjoy full wellness in life, You've got to be able to pay your bills. You've got to be able to be able to. Now, these, this thing here was, you know, what, $16 for 20 ounces. I mean, there's nothing like it on the market and cheaper and all that. But my point being, if you don't have the $16, you cannot enjoy the benefits of something like this. This is what I'm saying. And there's going to be people out there saying, well, Jim, I love what you're saying, but how can I do that? Well, the answer is very, very simple. Uh, Jeremy and I, we work together as a team because we want you to be healthy and have experienced full wealth and wellness in all areas of your life. Because just like we've been talking about free radicals, and this is not a sales pitch, this is just a reality of the way the world turns. Just like radicals in your body attack you, well, when you're, when you're struggling and you've got stress in your life and you've got bills that you're worried about, it's, you're pushing a chain uphill. Make a commitment to yourself that you're going to get in perfect balance, perfect harmony. Whether you work with Jeremy or me or not, that's, that's your choice. But find something. Don't continue doing the same thing. Like Jeremy said the other day, and I liked it, you know, whenever someone has a headache, they may take a Tylenol to relieve their headache. But the reason why they had the headache, it wasn't because they were low on Tylenol. <laughs> yeah. I, I like the way you put that because that's a good analogy. Yeah, and absolutely. I just felt, I don't know why I went into that little spill there, but I know this much. When an idea comes to us, there's someone out there in TV land that needs to hear it. Uh-huh. If you want to improve your overall health, you've got to improve your overall lifestyle. Yeah, you have to give up some things that, you know, that maybe not be good for you, you know? We all do that. I mean, I gave up some, oh, I gave up Snickers. <laughs> mm, after my heart attack is either heart attack or Snickers, which one is more important to me? Having yeah. a healthy heart or Snickers and now you know, I cried myself asleep a few times, but I got yeah, over it. Yeah. 
So, so what, what we do in that case though, Jim, and here's, here's the thing, you know, because mm-hmm. this, this is, this is my specialty as, as, as a, as a coach, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, in, 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 in mindset is, is that in, instead of, instead of, uh, turning on, on the, I gave up switch, you, yeah. you turn on the, I gained switch, right. Yeah. I gained yeah. more energy, you know, yeah. I gained more years. And- I gained less likelihood of having another heart attack. Right. Yeah. And yeah. we switch that. And, yeah. and, and the reason why I say that is because, you know, we hear a lot of people talk about money and, and I love it because my, my friend and mentor, John Maxwell, you know, mm-hmm. I was on a call with him about, about two weeks ago. And, and, and he said, if, if you have a, if you have a problem with money, when you're poor, you'll have a problem with money when you're rich. Oh, isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? I mean, how many pro athletes, not the name any, <laughs> have come from the slums, went from the outhouse to the penthouse, millions of dollars, and yet whew, the problem their is lives not a lack wreck. of money, <laughs> no, right? Even though we say, "Oh, we just don't have no money," the problem is the way we think about money, mm-hmm. and and if we can change the way that we think about money. And what the purpose of money is, right? Mm-hmm. The purpose of money isn't to have money, right? The purpose no. of money in our lives is to allow us to live the lives that we dream of. Yeah. And, and, and that's what we try to do. We try to help mm-hmm. people yeah. to live the lives that they dream of. And let's take it up a notch. What if you had the type of lifestyle Jeremy is talking about where you could actually have enough money at the end of the month to be able to buy a product like this? for someone that doesn't have much money, or maybe they're on a fixed income. Maybe they need a bag of groceries, for gosh sakes. Mm-hmm. And, and right there is Jeremy's email. And folks, let me, let me share this with you. Get this branded into your brain. Jeremy is a biz, business coach. His email is jeremy at yourbizprofitscoach.com. Jeremy will sit down with you and give you a 30-minute complimentary consultation. He will share with you ways that you can get from where you are to where you want to be. If it's a good fit for you, you will know it. If it isn't a good fit for you, Jeremy will say, well, thank you very much. I really enjoyed you know, visiting with you, and if I can help you in the future, please let me know. It's no obligation. What have you got to lose? Poverty, stress, aggravation, get rid of them radicals in your life because how many times have you realized that you're in a financial bind and you just get all jittery on the inside? Mm-hmm. I've been there. We all have. It's no fun. Yeah. And the reason I'm sharing that and hammering that a little bit because I know there's people out there suffering and they're going through stressful times. And there's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's hope. There's hope. You got to open your eyes. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And Jeremy, was I correct? And we didn't even we didn't even talk about this beforehand. Was I correct on on offering thirty minutes of your time? Yeah, abs- ab- absolutely. All they got. And, and, and if you go over, he's going to send me the bill for the balance. Yeah. Is that correct? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> That's right. It's about a thousand dollars an hour. So feel free to go over, and. Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> It compliments uh, Jim Grant. But, I tell you, I get no respect. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, absolutely. You know, it's it's, it's it, we, we we would love to help people. Uh, here's yeah. here's the thing: if you're not happy with the p- place where you're at in your life now, or maybe oh. you're, you're you're happy but you're not content and you mm. want more, you know, then doing what you're doing now won't mm. get you there, right? Yeah. Um, and, 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 and I love it. There's, there's, there's a book by Marshall Goldsmith, one of the most famous coaches out there, whatnot, you know, and, and, and it, it's called what got you here won't get you there. Oh, right? yeah. And, and, and that's simply it. So if you're yeah. wondering why things aren't different, but you're doing the same thing, mm. it's because you're doing the same thing. Yeah. And I'll tell you something else, you know, to show you where our heart is, Jeremy and I, we're going to do a show next week. Is it next week we're going to do the one on the nonprofits and things yeah, like that? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Absolutely. We're going to be sharing how Jeremy and I can help you get your nonprofit in a position where they can get money without them spending one thin dime. 
Yep, absolutely. Recurring, recurring payments. And that's, yes. that's the great thing. Recurring, so. yeah. Yep. And so that shows you the kind of heart that we have. And we only associate ourselves with people who have the like kind of heart that we do. And so I'm really looking forward to that because if you have a church out there and, you know, there's things that go on in church that you really need because you're always helping others. That's what churches exist, to be a blessing to others. Yep. And support missionaries, things like that. And you'd like to know more about how you could generate income for the church. And we don't care what kind of a nonprofit it is. It, that's your prerogative. It really is. Yeah. But we are available to help your nonprofit. And we won't, you know, Jeremy may send me a $1,000 an hour bill, but we won't send anybody a bill. How about that? That's a good deal, isn't it? <laughs> that, that's, that's right. We, we won't send any of the audience a bill, for sure. Oh, yeah. And our time is gone, but next week we're going to be talking about how nonprofits can get financially healthy. Yep. Because times are coming where funds are going to start getting more and more scarce. Uh -huh. And improving lives, we'd be improving the lives on all fronts, including health benefits. Yep. You know, getting rid of free radicals. My goodness. Our time is gone, Jeremy. My goodness gracious, I wish we'd have started earlier, but, you know, uh, but we're at our limit. But next week, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about nonprofits. If you have a nonprofit or you know if someone's got a nonprofit, have them be sure and tune in on this show. Because this is extremely, extremely important because we give us the opportunity to give back to help you, your nonprofit. That's what we asked of you. That's all we asked of you, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Jeremy, our time is gone. Thank you so much for being here and helping me host this show. And we'll be back next week, same time, same place, same station. And we'll just be wearing different shirts. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank so you we'll so much. we'll be wearing shirts. There you go. We'll see you next time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.